that's cool, but I don't understand your point. Sorry. So can you re-explain what you're trying to achieve? Because you say I can't push it down, though I don't understand what that means. I like it, but it's just... I'm trying to understand, though. When you hover over the second component, for example, the first one gets covered up by the background, but the element that comes after still is available. You're saying that this, because your component, your hover state contains your background animation. That's what you're saying. The elements, which I mean, I need to add Z index property to the hover state, push it behind the one that are not the hover state. Yes. All right. I think I get it. Though you could probably achieve that with different behavior. But yeah, I'm thinking of that. Maybe one second. Maybe. If you have regular screen, whatever, black screen, background, thingy, and then you get one of these. I should have done a fucking frame. I am a dumbass. If I'm going to see that. So if I do that, yeah, this needs to be at the background. Let's do that in blue. So it's not as much. That was cute though. I'm thinking about the process of adding viables for your prototype. So it would be something along the line of, didn't know I had all that. Impressive. <laughs> I do a new collection? Yeah, collection, whatever. If I have a color viable, let's say BG on, I'm gonna take that all. And then if I get a secondary one that is off with my opacity just being like 0%, cool, set viable. I think I need a viable set that is a true false type of viable. Like technically, this is ease of. True. And then this thing is going to have visit to the Boolean collection is over to true. And so while hovering that, technically, if my viables at false while hovering, it's supposed to do that, which is pretty fine for now. I also need to have, I guess, a secondary option that is a reverse. So I'm going to take mouse enter for this. And then I'm going to just duplicate this with a new mouse leave that is going to be set viable is hover to false. If that works, you take the ability to do that. So you could have your animated background with a property of is true is false, like Boolean property in here that is basically set in your background, the background of your website, the entire thing, instead of being inside of your component. And then what you do is you just add this set of mouse enter mouse leave on each of your components just for the potential and that way you will have that the only thing that that i don't really is the fact that it's extremely brutal like you have a bit of a fade in your transition i think that's the uh, that be my solution to avoid that overlapping meaning that it's just a set of things in the background and that's pretty simple overall